Hi everybody, welcome back to Bellioso Pregnant um, here on YouTube uh, or if you're catching this through my website. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I am outside um, during this whole pandemic scare that's going around, uh, whether you call it uh, COVID-19 or coronavirus. Um, and I just want to come in and tell you about some things that I'm hearing um, on the news channels and radio stations and all the airwaves of what could possibly happen um, during this time that might affect you. So one of the things that um, was brought to my attention was that maybe some husbands are not able to go into the labor and delivery um, ward with you when you are going through labor and delivery due to keeping the occupancy minimum in the room, less effect in the mom, less effect in the baby. But um, some seem to forget that if the dad is away or the partner is away from the mother, then that can have consequences as well as far as the progress of the labor. So make sure before, especially if you're delivering, you know, and this month, this week, three weeks from now, at least until April 30th, and I would even extend it further until maybe like the end of May, and June. And if you really want to be safe, then I would, you know, if you're due in like August, September, I would still check up on this. I would call the hospital that you're going to be birthing in and ask them, is there any um, changes to the regulations as far as who can come into the birthing room, who cannot come into the birthing room? Um, can my partner be there, um, or does he have to come after the baby is born, yada, yada, yada. And if they do say yes or, you know, things like that, I'll find out when's the expiration date. Like, okay, when is this is going to be over? And if your birth is, let's say, in September, then you want to probably call again maybe like halfway through, so like June july and just be like okay has the policies went back to where they originally were or are they still the same are we still you know having the same policies that you said was april because everything is changing so fast and one minute you think you know something and the next minute it's like no i heard that was something else so when you come to your birth and your labor even though you do hopefully you have a birth plan or not you're going to be doing one soon um, you want to be able to not be surprised as much as possible. So the more that you can get out and uh, make sure that everything is, you know, okay. Like, okay, I got this set up, I got this set up. One thing is you want to make sure that your hospital stay is as pleasant as what you imagine it would be on um, paper. So um, make that a reality. Call them. Make sure you know the ins and outs of that and anything change. And um, just follow up with that. Um, also, the intimacy thing uh, that, you know, even in your own house, you know, you got to stay that six feet back. It's like, hello. Hey, partner's like, hello. You know, from all the way across the room. But, um, you know, I have, you know, a different opinion on that. My thing is, and I would say this, like I said in my other video, that, you know, if somebody is sick that's around you when you're pregnant, of course, you're going to stay away, you know, instincts itself, even if nobody told you, instincts itself is going to say, okay, let me step back, you know, a couple feet away from this person or let me go in the other room because that's sounding really bad, you know, and I don't know what that is, but I'm going to exit stage left and go sleep somewhere else. So kind of like the same thing applies, um, you know, people are suggesting that even with your partner, your husband, your mate, that you're not even supposed to be in the same room and stay six feet away in your own home. I'm like, no, that's taking it a little bit too far, <laughs> um, especially when you're pregnant, because even though you might have your emotional days, your non-emotional days, your in-between days, all that good stuff, um, you still want to be able to know that you still can be connected with your partner, with your mate, with your kids. You know, anybody who's in your household at the moment, you know. Um, so I wouldn't I wouldn't hold on to that and really follow that because any type of connection that you have, physical connection is very important too. And any type of that that you can get, especially now that everything has been, you know, locked down and you might not be able to reach your, your, your co-workers. Maybe you 
love your co-workers and now you can't see them and um, you like, like your girlfriends and stuff but now you can't see them and um, maybe you know your sister lives you know some ways but yeah I used to see each other you know every weekend or something like that now you can't do that so the people that is in your household even when it comes to pets because that's a whole other thing too like oh be cautious of your pets your pets might have it and I'm seeing people throwing pets out the window like what is going on like pause for a minute <laughs> like this is going crazy <laughs> you know and what's happening is is depleting you from your feel-good hormones you know all those endorphins that make you happy all those hormones that make you happy from a laugh you know from a touch you know um, from somebody just um, sitting right next to you and you just you know holding each other or whatever to even like a high five like yeah you did it you know or dancing together or whatever I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't stop you know doing that especially if nobody is not, doesn't even have a cold or nothing is going on and y'all just fine just waiting now time then no I say go ahead I say uh, you know have you know um, dances and, and intimacy and all that and laughter and, and and get togethers but just keep it you know hey if you got a runny nose or you are sick or whatever your stipulations are then no stay back even if you're wearing a mask still I don't even want that you know what I mean so just don't take it as a, a, a okay I definitely have to do this or this is gonna happen not necessarily so and I would say that for any anything that's as far as the seasonal change and as far as you know flu seasons and all this other kind of stuff that's going around I would say the exact same thing so I'm not just saying it just because oh it's the COVID-19 scare but I just wanted to be able to calm you guys down a little bit you know and I hear a lot of negativity uh, one person was saying that you don't even hear the weather anymore because all you hear is the COVID-19 <laughs> as soon as you wake up in the morning which I thought was just hilarious so this is just something aside from that and just to say that no you know have your 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 time together and um, appreciate it and also follow up with your midwife OBGYN and even the hospital because they might not even know because things are changing on there and so fast so I would definitely reach out to the hospital itself and hear it from the horse's mouth and not through the OB or midwife because they might not even know yet so um, take the next step, take that precaution. That way you're not surprised, you know, when you show up and, you know, they tell you, oh no, you know, you're looking at this many people or uh, if they don't, they're not certified to do this, that, and the other, they cannot be in here because of, you know, what, what they will say, the COVID-19, social distancing, yada, 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 quarantine issues. So make sure you take care of that um, this week, okay? And if you find out anything that you think that other parents and moms should know, please comment below because, um, as we know, we all read comments. So they might have something that on their end that the news is not telling you, but it's good for you to know as well. So I'll talk to you later. Signing out. Belly also pregnant. Have a wonderful day. Have a relaxing day. And take it easy. Don't stress too much over this, all right? You got other things you got to worry about, okay? Like a baby. Have a good one. Bye-bye.